Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we have yet another freaking Bitcoin miner from Bitmain. This will be the T21. It's an air-cooled unit and 233 terahash potential. So we'll talk about that here. We do have the full specs. We do have the shipping window. We'll compare it to the other recent announcements. And we did get a little bit more news on the What's Miner. We do have actual price points direct from them. And it looks like the shipping may be sooner than we expected, right? So we'll talk about that here. We'll get all updated. So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. So let's get to it. So right off the rip, Hat Miner T21. So key notes. The T series is typically their B tier, so it's not as good as the S series typically. We'll see how it pans out, but we can see the specs that it's not gonna be the same chips, right? Because the efficiency is not as good. So it's gonna have two modes, normal energy mode, high energy mode, the regular normal mode, 190 terahash, 19 joules of terahash, right? Pretty good, 3,610 watts, right? Which is kind of on the high end as far as the wattage goes. But as far as the efficiency goes, pretty darn close to the S21, right? And extremely close to the What's Miner M60, right? That guy's coming in at 18.5 for the better one. Their B tier model is at 19.9, so it does beat theirs, right? So pretty interesting thing there. Um, we'll talk about the secondary mode here in a second. The other thing they're kind of touting is that it's going to do well in high temperature areas, so hot areas. So tolerant to temp and being temp of 45 degrees Celsius, right? So let's continue to look. And this is where it gets interesting. They are showing the other mode here. So it's 233 terahash at 22 joules of terahash, right? Bringing you to a beefy wattage, right? So you do are able to go up to 233, but at 5,126 watts. Right, so that's pretty much going to eat up an entire 30 amp circuit by itself, just about right. So, pretty interesting, kind of weird that they decided to throw that overclock mode with the crappier guy instead of the S21. You would think that they would want to do that with their premier model to make it more appealing, right? Versus their typically their B grade model, so kind of interesting there. Shipping window is Q1, so they're saying January to March. The only other bit of news, shout out to T Swift from Discord. He was the only person I was able to get any pricing info from. So he was able to get a sneak peek into it. So there is a deal right now with the MOQ of a thousand, fourteen dollars a terahash, right? So if we do the math, break it down, brings it to two thousand six hundred and sixty per unit. But again, that's an MOQ of a thousand. We'll see where that pans out. Again, typically for smaller MOQs, the price will go up, but it's kind of giving us an idea of where the price is, right? So kind of interesting. Kind of not cheap enough, right? Especially if you were able to get in early with those S21s. You could still really get in those prices with those S21s. It's not... I don't know. It's really hard to say, man. It's really hard to say what's the better deal. At the end of the day, for me, the biggest issue with in either one of these is just the shipping window, right? It's really hard to like guarantee when you're going to get it. Right, and they can say hey, everything all they want, but delays can happen, especially now. I mean, it's kind of kind of interesting that a lot of the vendors I've been looking now as they've been updating it. They do have batches now on a monthly basis, right? Obviously, the earlier, the more expensive. So to me, the way I'm kind of reading that is that they did not sell as many as they expected in their bulk or in bulk, I should say, right? They did have two two price windows. One was till October 7th. If you ordered that MOQ, you met the criteria, you were able to get it like under 3K, right? For those that were going to be over, it was going to be a different price point. To me, it seems like they didn't sell as many as they thought, and that's why they're making it available now to everybody else. But in these earlier batches, it is going to be more expensive, right? So like if we go on CMC, their January batch is at 4,400, the cheapest being the May batch, down to 3,800, right? Which is still kind of high, but it's hard, right? It's hard to say because there isn't necessarily a guarantee you're going to get in January, especially with Bitmain's track record of this past year. Who knows, right? Um, if it does work out, you are able to get a good price and you're able to get into that January batch. That's cool. That works out, right? But just keep in mind that you do bear that risk of 
not getting it in time, right? So another interesting thing to know with this guy, the T21, was their marketing scheme. And it seems like, you know how Bitmain likes to be petty, that this was designated, not necessarily towards what's minor, right? That was kind of the initial thought, but more the Des way, actually. If you look at how they're advertising this thing, it's like they're copying them to the T. Even the picture they use, being in a desert, right? Highlighting that it's going to work in these hot temperatures, right? If we compare it and even the, having the two modes just like the Desway, right? Super interesting. It's going to be even funnier if they even took their recipe from them, being lower quality chips but a lot more of them and overclocked right because we saw with that breakdown video I, that i did we were able to see the internals and see how they were able to do it and essentially a ton of older chips but just really underclocked and that's how they were able to get their efficiency going but it seems really funny and it's going to be funny when we see these things if that's indeed the case where there's more than 77 chips like let's say there's 120 150 or whatever and they're just underclocked and that's how they're able to get this right it seems like they literally just copied their formula, right? If we look at even their advertising, again, this is the one I remember, in the desert, and their slogan was born for the desert, full power at 50 degrees Celsius. Super funny that they decided to do that. And super funny that they decided to have the two modes just like Desway, right? To me, it seems, <laughs> oh my God, direct hit to Desway just because of that, right? So super interesting, who knows? Maybe it's a coincidence. Although I don't believe in coincidences, which is kind of funny, right? They love being petty that way. Um, so let's get on to the other bit of news. Oh, the What's Miner. So, What's Miner on their site does have the new models listed now. Okay, so the M60, which again is their B tier, 3900 to 4300 depending on which one you get. So $25 a terahash. Their M60S, which is the premier model. 4590 to 5000 bucks, right? Depending on which model you get. As we click on it, they do have a 170 model and 186 terahash model, right? So obviously if you go with the higher one, it's gonna be more expensive. But they do have, your, it looks like you are able to order just one. You are able to order it spot, which is kind of interesting because that's not typical from what's minor. What's even more interesting is that so this hasn't been confirmed. I was just trying to look for it on their website, but Luxor Tech is saying that this thing is shipping in November, right? Which is next week. So does it mean next week? Probably not. It's probably like the end of November, but it's sooner than the others, right? So kind of something to factor in there, right? Pretty interesting. Something to Really know if you're trying to get one of these more efficient miners prior to the halving and trying to stack as much as you can prior to that, right? But it's just really weird that they're releasing so many BTC miners all at once, right? It's, I don't know, man. It's super weird, especially from Bitmain, especially considering that they still have another model to go before these that hasn't even dropped yet. The S19 JXP hasn't even dropped yet. So they're still trying to offload the S19J Pro Pluses. They're still offloading the S19Ks. They still have to offload the S19J XP, which hasn't even hit the wild yet. And then now we have the S21 supposedly starting to drop in January and the T21 also in January. And then all of What's Miner's releases, all these other new ones, it just, it feels extremely saturated. Like it's... I don't know, especially this release. This, to me, is the weirdest one. Why are they releasing their B tier now? Like, this, to me, is definitely more of, like, uh, once the entire batches of the S21 are out, like, sometime in the summer, right? May, June, those last batches. Then that's when they should have debuted this guy, right? It's just extremely weird. Like, I don't know, man. It's kind of off-putting, in a sense. Like, what's going on? Like, are they really that desperate to raise capital? Right, because we, you know, we saw they were having some issues there that they confirmed, by the way, because it turns out they fired that employee that had leaked that uh, financial info. So kind of weird, especially because it's all pre-orders, right? So just be aware of all that. Look at the whole market as a whole, right? To me, if anything, way more appealing if this thing does drop in November, although it's not as efficient. If you're into the latest and greatest, 
I don't know. These may be the way to go if you're into BTC mining. But I mean, it's definitely kind of off-putting to even consider just because you know that there's so many of these things, the hash rate's going through the roof and it's gonna probably continue to go up. Why? Because we're getting cooler weather. So all these farms that had been on low power mode because of the extreme heat, they're gonna kick those things on into high gear, especially to crew as much as they can prior to the halving, right? So it's, it's tricky, man, especially if you're a small retail guy, especially if you have high electric, you have to really think about it. You have to look at your risk to reward. Like, yes, BTC is the most stable asset and is the one that is most, not necessarily guaranteed, but it's the most likely to 100% succeed, right? Theoretically, not financial advice. But you just, you got to weigh these things in, right? You have to really look at it. You have to really think about it and see if these more expensive ones are worth it. Or if it's going to be more worthwhile to just pick up some of these like 90 terahash models that are 500, 600 bucks and then flip them leading into the halving, right? Or maybe as soon as we start getting bullish action into the halving, right? So a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to consider. Again, do your calculations, see where where you're at. But to me, it just it seems like a super crazy oversaturation of the market. And to me, it does seem like these things are not selling as well as they had hoped. Because if they're making these January batches of the S21 available to us already, kind of weird, right? So just think about stuff, guys. Weigh these things in. Think about them. Let me know in the comments, guys. What are you guys doing? Are you guys stacking some of these S19Ks? Are you guys still doing your thing? Are you waiting for these things? Let me know what you're doing. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you guys agree? Like, are we getting, like, a little too much saturation? What's going on? Let me know in the comments, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.